Hills Apartments. A four-year-old died in that fire and six others were hurt. Firefighters believe that started outside the building, but they are still investigating the cause. We've checked and the two apartment fires are not connected. Well, donations continue to grow, including a fund set up to help the family of the four-year-old victim who died in that fire. Tonight, how you can help and what church volunteers are doing for those who are displaced to get them back on their feet. That there were several families that have been hurt in this situation, and there's been even more families who have stepped up. A community rallying to help the family of the little girl killed in Monday's apartment fire. More than $18,000 raised in a GoFundMe account. Four-year-old Keegan unable to escape the blaze at the Hickory Hills Apartments on Beverly Hills Drive in Brunswick. Keegan's mother hospitalized. Three other families managed to get out. They lost everything. Okay. Um, things that we take for granted. Jeff Trush of St. Ambrose Church says clothing and food donations continue to pour in for all the victims of the fire. The church is even providing temporary apartments for displaced victims and finding furniture for the more than 50 families. We're providing them with gift cards to restaurants um, and also we're giving uh, people food that, that are staying with relatives okay, so until they, they are able to go out on their own. A sense of comfort during a difficult time. A reminder, Tresh says, that there are those out there who care. Without the community, we wouldn't be able to do these things. And this does give you a lot of hope that your fellow man truly does care about you. The victims of the Hickory Hills apartment fire will get assistance for the next two months. We have no information tonight.